The euro has fallen against the dollar on Monday as new data shows that Europe is running the risk of a recession. The S&P Eurozone Purchasing Managers Index, or PMI, which tracks how businesses are buying goods, slumped to an eight-month low of 48.9, moving further below the 50 mark that separates growth from contraction. Manufacturing is slowing down across the block, despite cheaper energy and raw material costs, compared to last year's highs. Analysts say the slowdown is due to higher interest rates from the European Central Bank, which is trying to bring inflation down from its current 5% to its target rate of 2%. For more on this, let's go to Carsten Brzezewski in Frankfurt. He's head of macro research at ING Global. Carsten, thanks for joining us. What can we expect from the next meeting of the ECB? Is another rate rise on the cards? Yes, it definitely is, because um, uh, ECB President Christine Lagarde basically pre-announced the rate hike already at the last meeting in June. So we're going to get 25 basis points rate hike this upcoming Thursday. But of course, the ECB is now clearly you know, a bit more in a, in a controversial position as the economy is clearly in a very well, negative environment, um, as we will also see headline inflation coming down at least after the summer. So the question that uh, arises is whether um, the ECB is not actually pushing the Eurozone economy further into recession with, with its uh, rate hikes. But right now, I think the ECB thinks that they have to uh, only have one job, and this one job is to bring down inflation via higher interest rates. If a recession does happen in Europe, what level of severity can we expect and what industries or sectors will suffer the most? I think we, we should not think um, in terms of a typical business cycle when we talk about a European recession. I think what we're currently seeing is um, something new, something unprecedented. We have some short-term headwinds coming from, from China, coming from the, the looming recession in, in the US, and also from higher interest rates by, by the European Central Bank. But on top of that, Europe is in the middle of, of structural transitions. We still have an ongoing war in Ukraine. We have an energy transition, an energy crisis going on. Um, the global economy has changed. So what I see is a de facto stagnation, or call this slow session, namely the European economy somewhere in between stagnation and recession. And this means that particularly the sector that are exposed to global trade, industry, they will suffer much more than, for example, services. Carsten Brzezewski there in Frankfurt, thank you very much for your analysis. Now to other top stories from around the world. China's state planner has unveiled measures to encourage and spur private investment, particularly in the infrastructure sector. It's also boosting financing for private projects, vowing a bigger, better and stronger economy. The move comes after China announced plans to attract more private capital in the construction of national projects. The films Barbie and Oppenheimer have raked in almost a quarter of a billion dollars in North America over the weekend. Universal's Oppenheimer took home $80.5 million in its first weekend, but was blown out by Barbie. The Warner Brothers flick raked in $155 million, marking the largest opening weekend of 2023. But the successes come as studios are locked in a labor dispute with writers and actors guilds. And Chevron has reported better than expected second quarter results and signaled it remains open to more acquisitions this year. Net profit came in at $6 billion thanks to increased production at the Permian Basin. Meanwhile, the number two US oil company said it's waiving a mandatory retirement age of 65, allowing CEO Mike Worth to remain at the helm for a longer period.